on est mis aussi à l'aise. C'est dans les systèmes protocoles. Il y a d'autres moyens de dire que le délai est important pour nous. Bon, c'est une nouvelle compte de cette salaire. Il y a des gens qui ont été mis en place. Et j'ai eu de mon université. I want to special recognize the presence of the representative of the executive of the United States. And uh, as part of the early country, the executive and the most uh, pastor, the heads of our standards. And uh, without going too far, I want to seek your permission to let us all, without mentioning one, give three sounding, resounding provisions to one exceptional leader a humanitarian, someone that has sacrificed everything to make sure that you and I, who are Nigerians in the diaspora, have the voice and are prepared, I mean that is prepared to integrate us and give us a platform. I'm not speaking of anyone else than Chief Bingo for the head of the United States. I uh, own the company on the screen in partnership with uh, two other, three other gentlemen in the platform. Now, I will be speaking on the Nigeria, how the Nigerians in the diaspora can uh, help develop the Nigerian economy. As a company, we are a testimony, and one of the main reasons I have been brought forward to address you is because we are a living testimony of the driving forces that is encouraging engineers to go back home and invest. It's a great pleasure to listen to engineers in the Wapote challenging us that where is the proof? I want to tell you, sir, that you are waiting, going to see the proof shortly. As a company, we operate a, a, a synchronized system to make sure that we work with efficiency. Before I go forward, I have with us in the audience my co directors, uh, Wadio Bawale, who uh, flew this morning. I have uh, our co-director as well. We have uh, uh, Dr. Magnus. I just to give them uh, some recognition, please. Thank you. Thank you. As a company, we believe in optimization, in realization. We believe in creation, and we believe in sustainability. And this is an encompassing embodiment of the oil and gas industry. We stand for quality delivery. Our story is the challenge that was thrown before us by the Executive Secretary of the Nigerian Content Management Board, Engineer Sindhu Back in 2013, Shell Global, in partnership with the UKTIN, United Kingdom Trade and Investment, now Department for International Trade, duly represented by other, they came to Aberdeen, and I'm sure you must have listened to Charles, our moderator, who said he was in an audience of about 400 Nigerians in Aberdeen. We were the Nigerians he was talking about. Shell King, the MD of Shell, and all the NNPC board of trust, everybody, they were in Aberdeen, practically begging that you have overstayed in Aberdeen. Come back home and invest and come and help us. It's my pleasure to tell you today that Bowers Energy was best then. We stepped into action immediately. We created Boas Energy UK Limited and we shot it to Nigeria. We created Boas Energy Nigeria Limited. The story speaks for itself today. The story of Boas Energy is the story of why we are all here today by taking the bulls by the horn. We have global partnership, as I spoke with you. We have Memorandum of Understanding signed and active with multiple companies in Nigeria. We have attended the Nigeria Oil and Gas Investment, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, Nigeria Oil and Gas Investment Opportunities in Abuja. We have engaged with multiple partners. We have, uh, we have been accredited, accredited by virtually all the oil and gas operators in Nigeria. This story of just four years, it will shock you how it moved like a wave. And many people were timid. They were afraid because Nigeria is not for negativity, it's not for corruption, it's not for all the odds. They were told everybody that we met that no, every Nigerian in this country 
is an ambassador of the nation. And we are going to stick our heads out, we are going to invest in Nigeria, and today we are fully functioning. As of January this year, the report from the GMD of NNPC shows that Nigeria has well over 37 billion of oil and gas reserve. So oil reserve. And the gas portion of that is well over 192 trillion cubic feet. The question I want to ask everybody here, do, do not think that the oil and gas industry only needs engineers. Oil and gas experts, they need everybody, including you, that is selling food, selling everything you can think of. Human capital development is required. You don't want to go to the grave and say, oh, I heard there were billions of reserves in my country. I never participated. Boas Energy is participating, and I challenge you to come and participate. Like I mentioned earlier, I hear from Ondo State. Ondo State, according to reports, classified reports that is not out to the public, that apart from Canada, Ondo State holds the second world largest reserve of bitumen. And as I speak with you, we are all sitting on this gold and nobody is doing anything. I want to ask that question. I was speaking to the representative of the governor someone that I came from the oil and gas producing community of Ondo State. I don't want to go back to my grave when I become old without being part of those that will exploit and explore these opportunities. The question is, who is going to do it? Brains are hanging around all over the world. They need people to come up with expertise. It will interest you to know that one of the children of the man that brought us in here today, Chief Bimbo, one of his kids made first class in one of the universities just recently, a few days ago. When he shared the news with some of us that were in the committee, I took a step back. I said, now what is next? And that's the story of many Nigerians in the diaspora coming out on top of the ivory towers with no encouragement. We need to create research centers where these brains can come up and begin to integrate and help explore these opportunities. My company, I won't spend too much time on this. We are an oil and gas company. You can go to our website. We do work for Shell, Chevron, and other. We do what is called asset engineering development, technical safety, delivery, field development. And uh, we have partnership with uh, several other companies which I will go into. We do training as well. It will interest you to know that uh, one of our global partners is a 14 billion euro global company. We encouraged them to go to Nigeria. We were able to take them into Nigeria back in February, March. We spent over a week with the uh, I mean, facilitation of the Department for International Trade. I think Paula mentioned it earlier. That is what DIT can do for you. As a company, I and my colleagues cannot do anything. We can do little, but if you partner with the likes of DIT, they will take you far. This company is now thinking and they are aggressively looking at investing in Nigeria. Will you welcome them? Will you work with Bowers Energy to make them have success in our land? We are a contractor to Shell, and it will interest you to know that we have ongoing projects. We are a I mean, contractor to Chevron. I was just uh, having a chat with the representative of the state government. I met with the immediate past governor just uh, some few years ago, last year, I heard about before the incoming government came in, and I had a series of meetings with them. They were challenging Chevron. Why, how can you be exploiting the land without engaging people from the land? I'm pleased to tell you that Chevron has answered that call. They have registered my company as part of their contractors, and we have ongoing engagements with them. Exxon Mobil has seen value in us. We are now in the books of Exxon Mobil. Why are we all doing all this? Why are we partnering? Why are we getting engagement with all this land? Because we want to contribute to the Nigerian local content. We 
Brief Nigeria local content. But there was a time I was thinking of changing my name to local content. <laughs> Frankly, I've been in Britain for close to 20 years now. And you will identify with me that I've not changed my tone. It's deliberate. I want to be a Nigerian. I want to be proud of Nigeria. <laughs> As we speak with you today, we have, since that story started, we are engineer Wabote. The heads, I mean, the MD, GMD of Shell, and the likes of uh, NNPC challenged us to come home. The short story is that we have ongoing projects with many UK oil and gas companies, many of them operating in the Niger Delta that are scared to go to the rigs. They engage us. We go to Nigeria with our skin and blend into the local communities, and we help them do services, and we bring the return back to Britain. We have partnerships with about 27 Nigerian oil and gas companies. And this is a relationship that is developing and is growing. As far as the UK TI is concerned, uh, con uh, concerned now DIT, represented by Ola and her team, they have introduced, introduced us to well over 40 UK companies. And the uh, ongoing relationships are building, we know all these relationships will grow. As part of uh, the support for the Nigerian local content, Bolt Energy stands out. We are looking at opportunities where we can employ Nigerians, not just in Nigeria, but employ Nigerians even in Great Britain. As at today, like I mentioned earlier, one of our global partners, Swiss, who are duly represented by Maureen, seated in the crowd, who will probably be chatting with you there, uh, later on. They want to contribute to the Nigerian local content. In partnership with my company, they want to come and give a fully funded masterclass to the Nigerian oil and gas technical uh, needs between now and the end of the year. Discussions are ongoing. The Minister of Petroleum is aware because he was in Paris just a few weeks ago, and the discussions are ongoing. I've sensitized the engineer about it and some other key figures. When this happens, we want you to be part of it. We want them to feel welcome when they come into Nigeria. Now, the big question is what's next? Wilson has spoken. I want to challenge each and every one of us. I have delivered what I believe is best for me, but what do we want to take from here? The NDDIS will come and go. But what do you want to go with? Do you want to be like Wilson and those other gentlemen who took the pool by the home back in 2013 and they started something, not just on people? We implemented it. We have physical office in Britain. We have physical office in Lagos, Nigeria. And we are engaging with multiple companies. We are not, it's not just play to do business. Nobody ever told you it's going to be easy. Business is not for the light-hearted. It's for those that are prepared to take risks. Can you please rise up and take that risk today? And let it be said that just the same way Boas Energy started back in 2013, having been challenged, that NDDIS has challenged you today to take the boat by the home and start something. God bless the United Kingdom. God bless Nigeria. And God bless the NDDIS.